Hello everyone and welcome to another week of Fallout 4 mods. I was away this weekend so the mods are going to kind of stop at whatever came out on Friday. So if there's anything that came out Saturday, Sunday, Monday, then they're not going to be on here. They'll be here next week, but anyhow, let's go. Ducal Guard Service Revolver by Sam Fisher and Wilbick. Another revolver with a good amount of mods in a compact little body. There are nine receivers, four barrels, two grips, and nine scopes. I like the variation of the barrels for this one, especially the silenced one, just because it looks different and it's, you know, it's a silencer, suppressor on a revolver. That's always fun to see. Grenade Expansion Pack 2, M79 Grenade Launcher, and New Explosives by Sean MS 1991 The M79 Launcher is just the tip of the iceberg with this mod. You get a plethora of ammo types, mines, and grenades as well. The ammo types can be used by the M79 launcher, and types can be switched by hitting the reload button. This is a must-have mod if you're leveling up or use explosives most of the time, since it expands the choice and options of what you have and how you can use them as well. The ammo types and explosives are also unique. You've got some medical darts that can heal, mole rat repellent, larva darts, mines that are disguised as other objects, and there's a whole bunch of those like teddy bears and kitchen appliances. You've got claymores, grenades, and bombs that make enemies forget you're there, and so on. This is a fantastic mod, and the amount of extra ordnance that comes with this mod is just huge. And uh, if you like explosives, this mod is... you gotta have it. Lever Action Rifle Customization by Crimson Rider. Originally a simple retexture, this mod has expanded to a few more options that make the Lever Action Rifle a bit more pleasing to the eye. You'll have to make all your choices with the installer when you activate the mod, so you can't pick and choose in-game, unfortunately. The textures are high resolution and can be easily changed with the installer, though, so it's not so much of a big deal if you see one thing, but then later on you want to switch it back to another. Crude Blowback Standalone by AzXASD. Dirty, homemade, and dangerous. This is a great-looking weapon that definitely belongs in the Fallout world. There are four receivers, two barrels, two stocks, three magazines, three sights, and three muzzles. I always like the guns that look like they've been cobbled together from a bunch of stuff and kind of just jury rigged and jammed together and this one isn't any different. I love this weapon and it looks great. The Space Marine Armor by Matthew Hoare. Heading to the southern portion of the map hidden in a building is some pretty kicking Space Marine Armor along with a bolt gun. The bolt gun has three receivers with the stalker receiver dealing 400 plus damage per shot, two barrels, three stocks, three mags, three sights, and four variations of paint. The armor has the usual power armor upgrades, along with 11 paint materials of your choice. Look at all those colors. Beautiful model and textures, and having the bolt gun is a fantastic cherry on top of this mod. Sentry armor by Day Jones. This is another take on robot armor as wearable armor. There are three pieces for this, the sentry undersuit, sentry armor itself, and as a first show weapon, the Gauss rifle for your back. The armor has a ballistic resistance of 135 and energy of 75. The undersuit is basically the Brotherhood of Steel undersuit, and the Gauss rifle is just there for looks. This looks pretty solid, and I especially like the back with all the gauges and random pieces of machinery on it. Filled weapon displays by XNJ Guy. 16 weapon display boards, which are listed under Decorations Display. There is a DLC and a non-DLC version that contain every weapon you'd ever want to show off. Great for putting some character into a player home or settlement. CWS Redux, craftable working showers, sinks, baths, toilets, urinals, etc. By Steve Forty and Flip Deasy. Take a shower, wash your hands, then poop in the bath. That's right. You get four new furniture options including accessories, toilet sink stations, private toilets and sinks, private showers and shower stations. You, followers, and other settlers can use all of them with animations that fit each situation. This is really great because usually, you know, showers and toilets, you can put them down, but they're basically just static meshes. Uh, with this, when people go in them, you know, if they go in a shower, they'll take their clothes off and shower if they go on the toilet. Regardless, this is really cool. I like it and definitely good for immersion. Immersion! We is my week. Deathclaw Horns Headwear by Ral Lewin. As you can see, this is just the Deathclaw Horns, and you can wear them. At an armor bench, you can change the color of them, and you can also switch what angle they're at, which is really cool. The mod author has provided 
a little uh, cheat sheet as well so you can see like oh what angle is the one that works for me and you can do that I spawned these in the creation kit so I was able to put two on at the same time I don't know if that's just something I did by accident but I was able to put two on at the same time and uh, this is really cool pretty interesting some people have asked if uh, a tail could be included which I thought was kind of funny just slowly become a death claw but not really but yeah if you want to wear some death claw horns this is the mod for you all right everyone that's gonna do it for this week's fallout 4 mods sorry if this one was a little bit shorter than usual like i said i was away for the weekend and monday so i did not have time to shove all these sweet baby mods in there so if you have any that i missed put them in the comments and i will check them out thanks for watching everyone hope you enjoyed i know i did and i shall see you in the future Whee!